Greetings, my esteemed audience. A young, sensitive poet here, checking in from a beautiful and frozen Hyperborea. I'm checking in with an insight, which will hopefully be useful to you. So this is me, a venerable ancient, giving some life advice to uh, younger men. So this is a follow-up to the video titled No One Is Coming To Save You. And I thought to give my take on the question at hand, which is, of course, as you might see in the title, what the most important quality for a man is. And that is, in my humble opinion, it's your word, your reputation, your gravitas, your honor. And that is something that you will most likely learn as you progress through life. So for women, it's of course also very important, but for a man, the metaphysical quality of your word is super important. And when I say metaphysical, I am the first one to say to you that you should take care of your physical first also. Always start there and then the metaphysical benefits will come to you. So we can take, we can use an example such as going to the gym to get stronger in the deadlift for example. It's not only a matter of going in there to train hard, you also need to take care of your other factors in life. You need to sleep well and eat well and properly plan the session and you need to show discipline and willpower and all of these things and those aspects will Hopefully, they would have a positive impact on other things in life. Now also, on a related note, we can talk about such a thing as height for men. Height for men and attraction from females. I know it's a popular topic to talk about when we're talking about looks maxing and everything like that. And yes, of course, a woman will, she will like a tall, handsome man with a nice physique. A beautiful man, simply put. But you can also notice that many men, many powerful men, they are uh, quite short uh, and uh, perhaps they don't look like fitness models, but they still have uh, really beautiful women. Why is that? Yes, it's because they have a good standing. They are on top of a male hierarchy and this is good. This is a healthy female impulse, female sexuality to be drawn to men that are in good standing. It's completely normal. So if you ever feel insecure about your height, then don't. Just look at some uh, high thumos powerful guys and uh, yeah, they can get plenty of attraction from women because of their standing in a, in a hierarchy. So work on that instead. View it in a metaphysical sense that the metaphysical qualities, the qualities that are beyond the physical, they are actually more important. You will notice that. Now to use an example, you can have a tall, good-looking, handsome, well-trained fitness model kind of guy um, and then you will have a shorter guy who is perhaps not as good looking but he is higher up in a certain hierarchy and you will notice that the uh, the guy who's not as good looking he might still be more he might still get more attention from females just because he is higher in the hierarchy uh, so something to keep in mind and this is also a good lesson that we can use for other aspects in life so it's not about your physique it's not about your physical qualities necessarily often it is but not always it's also about your metaphysical qualities and what i mean with that is your reputation your honor your gravitas where you stand how much status you have in a group so this is good it's perfectly normal just as it's normal for a woman to want to have a beautiful well-trained physically fit man it's also normal for a woman to be attracted to a man of high status. So this can explain a lot and it's good to keep these things in mind so that you train both your your physical attributes but also your other attributes which are connected of course. Now as I said these two things they are of course very related. If you do train your physique you will hopefully train your other qualities as well so that you will be more disciplined and uh, everything like that. Now on to a more career or business aspect of it all, very connected. So the most important thing for you, and I say this as a as a venerable ancient and someone who has done business for quite some quite a while now actually, I will say that your reputation it's absolutely gold. It's the gold standard of all your dealings. So if you're known as a guy, as a man with a good reputation, such as myself, my reputation is gold absolutely is because I have trained it. I have trained it for a long time. I've done good honorable deeds for such a long time. I'm always very punctual with with all invoices, all business dealings, everything like that. So everyone who has ever done business with me knows that yeah this is a guy who we can completely trust because he's always very punctual, very on point with everything he does. So therefore everything beyond that it goes easier 
and smoother and faster and better in every way and of course you have to build up that relationship with someone so if you start a business and you have you initiate a partnership with someone it's normal if they are a bit hesitant at first but then when you've shown your qualities over a long period of time over years then they know yeah this guy is it's a good man and he keeps his word and that will also give you a lot of freedom later on to say that you know I can't I can't do this now but I um, I will do it later and they will say yeah yeah no issue at all we trust this guy because he always does the right thing same thing if we're talking again about a romantic game back in a more traditional society when when a young woman's family was more involved in selecting a partner now I'm not for arranged marriages but I'm for still a uh, you know, a system where the family, both men and women, so the mother, father, brothers, they have a say in who is a good man for a young woman. So they can say, this guy is a man of good standing, he's a good reputation, he's not known as a, as a bad man, he's known as a good man who shows up on time, he does his work, he is conscientious and punctual and everything like that. Then that woman will know, okay, this is a good match for me because because she has those references already. A reference from her brother saying that this man is someone I can trust when push comes to shove. Or if she's interested in a man but her brother says this is not a good man because you can't trust him, then it goes away in the selection immediately. So if you build up your gravitas, your reputation, and everyone knows that you're a good, stable man, everything will be better for you. So just as I said in the previous video that you are, you're useless until proven otherwise, a bit clickbaity title, but the, the teaching, it still stands. I think it's a good teaching. I think it's a good mentality to have. So just there you have to prove yourself continuously and the same thing when it comes to reputation. You have to prove yourself all the time. So if you are a young guy right now, think of this and everything you do, exactly everything you do, because as we've said before, the hermetic teaching of as above, so below, it's true here as well and vice versa. So what you do in the small things in life, it's also what you do in the big things in life. So again, had I... Uh, a younger sister and I and she came to me and said you know what do you think of these different guys and I can judge them on everything they do I will judge them on absolutely everything I will judge them how they park their car how they dress how they take care of everything I will go and inspect their their living quarters to see how well they make their beds because if you're thorough and diligent in one aspect of life, then you will be so in other aspects as well. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be a good man if you don't make your bed, but I'm saying that you can always judge someone on how they do things. So if someone does something thoroughly, and it might be something that isn't necessarily super important for someone else, but if you do everything in a good way, that will be a good sign that you do other things, bigger, more important things also in a good way. And this is also how I approach my businesses, that I want to have everything top-notch quality and I'm very happy with all products except the shakers. I still have to look for uh, a great shaker, but otherwise I'm really happy with, uh, with all the products because I always take care to, you know, make the best possible product and, you know, have them ethically made in Europe and uh, everything like that. So, and this also goes into my reputation, of course, that I take the, often the hard way by doing the right thing, but it will it will be good in the long run and this also comes into a very a very European thing and that is to have a low time preference so I don't need to have a good business success right now but I need to have a good reputation in 10 years so no matter which endeavor I embark upon if I go into politics and everyone knows yeah this man is a good decent honorable man because I have been observing his business endeavors for 10 years for 15 years then you know I'm a good man. And this is also hopefully what everyone who's watching this right now will say, that yeah, this is a good man I trust based on his good reputation over all of these years. And I'm not saying that you can't make mistakes, I've certainly made mistakes myself, but ultimately you can see that I have a good heart. So anyway, enough narcissism on my part here, I just wanted to say that when you take the, the harder road, the, the decent road, that will be beneficial in the long run. So even if you see some other guys, they're doing some dodgy business and they get, 
you know, good results fast, but in the long run it's not good. So it's the same thing if you take steroids when you're young, when you're under 25 and you see some other guys, they take steroids, they get, you know, they balloon up fast, they get really massive really quickly and then you decide to do it the proper way, the natural way. Then in 10 years, such as I have, I've trained for over 10 years now, always natural, and I don't need to train particularly much to maintain a good physique. Uh, because the the body, the natural training I've done, it's built up to that level, so I don't need so much training to uh, to maintain it. But if you've built your physique with steroids, you go off the steroids, you will feel you will not look as good anymore, and also you might mess up your uh, your hormonal health. So it's always the the long way or the short way. The long way is better in the long run. So have a low time preference, do the right thing, and you will see that in the long run you will you will benefit from it. Now again, this teaching can be applied to anything in life really. So if you're known as a guy who takes care of business, who is reliable, if your word is gold, everything in life will be easier and better for you. So do think of that, especially if you're a, especially if you're a young guy, think of that and also think of the fact that what you do in things that might not seem to be so important, it will also reflect on the bigger decisions you make. So. Try to think always to keep yourself to a certain standard, a good standard, and, and it will be easier to keep yourself to that standard when the big decisions come as well. So anyway, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, do check out all the links in the description box below. XOXO, BOOM!